feel that this uh, professor, who's extremely well loved and admired by many, many people, who's been here for 13 years as the dean of the School of Business, they feel he's getting a raw deal, quite frankly. It's very quiet on the USC campus, but underneath the underbelly, if you will, there's trouble brewing. Keep Ellis! Keep Ellis! In the middle of the USC campus, they wore t shirts and carried signs to show support for a man, Jim Ellis, the dean of the Marshall School of Business, a man they feel is getting a raw deal. Does anybody know why he's being shown the door? No. no. Does anybody think that's fair? No. So add yet another controversy to a school that has had its share in the last 18 months. So I can't imagine what is out there, but I do know Dean Ellis, and I believe he is a man of great integrity. USC interim president Wanda Austin announced last week that she is removing Ellis as the dean of the business school because of the, quote, lack of culture and lack of diversity at the business school. And that created a firestorm, especially with the alumni. I think the stats show that he's the most uh, successful and impressive dean that the business school has ever had. The Marshall School's got 52% females. That's more than any other business school anywhere in the land. It's got 22% underrepresented minorities. Again, more than any other business school anywhere in the land. Lloyd Greif, a USC graduate and a huge donor to the school, wrote to the Board of Trustees, quote, none of the complaints alleged any egregious misconduct and none of them involved inappropriate behavior by Jim. So why is he being removed? We try to get an answer to that today, but no response from anyone in the USC administration. In the other USC scandals, one-time medical school director Dr. Carmen Pugliafito was removed because of his drug use and the fact that he partied with drug users and criminals. Then there's a scandal involving Dr. George Tyndall and longtime president of USC Max Nikias was removed because he, quote, tried to hide the scandals. Supporters of Dean Ellis say he's done nothing like that. In fact, he's done nothing wrong. And Greif said people who donate big money to the school aren't happy. They've all to a man or a woman said, if this is the USC of today, I don't recognize it and I don't support it. The dean was well aware of what was going on today. He chose not to leave his classroom where he was uh, overseeing a final. Uh, word came that he is very grateful and thanks everyone for his support, for their support. And I am told by people who were here that there is a board of trustees meeting next Tuesday and quote, they promise fireworks.